Welcome to Tom Doesn't Play Symantle, where we're going to guess words that are very different to other words. I was sent this game today. I don't know anything about it besides that you have to find words that are very unsimilar to other words. It is Bizarro Symantle. Bizarro, 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 Bizarro. So this is called the Divergent Association Task which measures verbal creativity in under four minutes. It involves thinking of unrelated ideas. People who are more creative tend to think of ideas with greater distances between them. We recommend you take the test before you learn more about it. That's good. I haven't learned anything. We're going in fresh besides knowing that we guess different words. <laughs> I will put a link in the description or the comments because I really want you to play this one before you watch the video and you can let me know if you beat my score. I don't know if I'm going to be any good at this. You'd think there'd be a little bit of crossover with the Symantle play because I mean, I'm good at getting negative scores in Symantle. This is just like getting negative scores in Symantle, surely. Take the test. Okay, please enter 10 words that are as different from each other as possible in all meanings and uses of the words. I wonder if it's actually using the word to vec AI that Symantle does, because it sounds like it's comparing words together in a very similar way that you do see in Symantle. Only single words in English, that's fine. Only nouns, things, objects, concepts. Okay, I was, I had an idea in my mind that we'll just throw some adverbs in here because adverbs aren't like anything according to Symantle. Uh, but we got to stick to nouns, no proper nouns, so no specific people or places, no specialized vocabulary, e.g. no technical terms. Okay. Think of things on your own, e.g. do not look at objects in your surroundings. Okay. So I'm just going to start rattling words off that I don't think are like each other. If we have to go back and change some because our noun mapping has a gap over here and we want to put a word over here or here, we'll do that. So I'm going to start with a number. Let's go 17. That's a good number. So I sort of feel like numbers live in their own world. I suspect for this game, you want words that have one very specific meaning. So you don't want to use a word like current. Current meaning now, current maybe meaning like the current of a river, current meaning a black current. That's got a lot of different meanings, but you want to choose a word with a very, very narrow meaning. Let's do Barramundi. I think Barramundi is a good guess because I only know one use of the word Barramundi and that is for the fish, which I've been told by a Barramundi farmer is the same as a type of carp. But if I remember right, the eggs have to hatch in Australia for it to be called a Barramundi. I hope that fact, if it's true, uh, doesn't make the word Barramundi become a proper noun. Uh, because I'm pretty sure a fish species would be a common noun. I'm going to put the word tapestry in. I don't know why. I might remove it, but that's the word that came to me next, tapestry. Though the word that comes to me next is scare, which is actually, this is something I've learned playing at Symantle. It can be used as an abstract noun, they call it. So I think I'm right with this. An abstract noun is like an intangible it's something that you're not going to be able to see or touch or taste or hear, but it is something that we refer to as a thing so you can get a scare. This might be cheating, but it says enter a single noun. Can I use the words enter a single noun? Because I like the word noun as an unrelated word to these other things. It's very related to language, although language could language be related to numbers 17? I'm going to keep that for now, but we might change it later. Not sure why again, but the word Congress comes to mind. You know, they say it's the opposite of progress. Congress. Get it? Con pro. I'm just thinking, are any of these words redundant? And then I was thinking redundant's a good word. Actually, can redundant be used as a noun? Maybe not. Redundancy. Definitely a noun. He was given a redundancy. I'm going to put in redundancy. 
If my employer is watching and you want to pay me a big redundancy, then you know my number. Let's take stock. 17, we're covering off numbers. Barramundi, we're covering off animals. Tapestry, we're covering off materials and art. A scare, we're covering off abstract. I don't know what the... If noun is a special type of noun, I assume it's a noun. Condorous, we're covering off like groups and we're covering off people and government and politics. And redundancy is one of those ones where it's sort of like a verb turned into a noun. It's like an action into a noun, but I guess scare is as well. I hope that doesn't mean they're similar. I've just thought of the word speaker. Is that a good word? Is that like tapestry at all? Tapestry you use and you add. Speaker it comes out. Are there other uses of the word speaker? I think that's okay. I'm gonna keep it for now. Looking at myself in the camera, do I have dandruff? No, I don't. These, uh, this long hair is clean. There's no white stuff in there, I promise. Dandruff I don't think is anything like these other words. The last word I've just thought of is voyage. You go on a voyage, it's about travel, it's about movement. I don't think anything else we've got is about travel and movement. 17, Barramundi, Tapestry, Scare, Noun, Congress, Redundancy, Speaker, Dandruff, Voyage. I'm pretty happy with that list. I was going to go back and rejig things, but I there's nothing there that I really see having crossover with each other. And I am an expert at getting negative scores on Samantha as regular viewers would be well aware. So let's just lock it in. We don't want to spend too much time on this. I think, yeah, coming up with your first answers and just going with it. And uh, let's see how we scored. Age. Well, there you go, doxing myself. Sex. Yes, please. <laughs> Not funny. Country. Aussie my. And how did we score? I'm hoping some of you will have played and let me know how you did and if you beat my score of... Drum roll. Ninety three point one higher than ninety eight point eight one percent of people who have completed the task. That's pretty good. I am happy with that. We're just about ninety ninth percentile. I reckon the Samantha has given us an unfair advantage because I'm just not that clever. Let's see the analytics here. I was just trying to understand what this means and it's actually mapping each word against each other for how similar they are. So redundancy and barramundi look to be the most different to each other. I mean, there's nothing redundant about a barramundi. They're bloody delicious. While uh, Congress seems to be my worst guess because we've got a couple of non-bright greens here. Congress and 17. Congress reflects a number of people or representatives uh, and 17 could be that number. So I think I can see how those might be slightly close to each other. Congress and scare. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> you can see why. It's all scare campaigns. It's We're coming up to the election in Australia and it's 75% scare advertising. So no, I, maybe I should have picked up that those two are going to be similar. Redundancy and noun. Oh, okay. I understand that as well because I was just thinking of redundancy being redundancy associated to a person. But of course, there's all sorts of redundancies. There's redundancy of language, which is how it might be related to a noun. Barramundi looks to be definitely my best. We've got a hundred... 102, 101, 94, 105, 107. That's averaging a little over 100, I think. So that was a great guess. Or maybe it's less that that was a good guess and more that every guess after it was not like Barramundi. Depends on how you think about it. I've tried to look up if it's using the same AI, the word to vec AI that Symantle uses, and I haven't been able to find the answer. It's probably not actually using that because that one's very highly biased towards news articles. Although I would be interested to know how this AI works. That was a lot of fun. That was something different. Were you able to beat me? Let me know how you did and what your seven or 10 words were. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments how you did. Love to hear from you. Tomorrow we're back to guessing words like other words. See you tomorrow.